Right, welcome back to Fish with Bish. We've just done an emergency battery change. Dad's just come around. Uh, I was going to leave it for a bit, but this we seem to have a decent fish on here. I've not been able to move him for a while. I, th I think this is a decent fish order. You're all right, Dad, don't you? You got any? If you ain't, I don't want to. Unless you just want to see it. Yeah, it's a big gudgeon, that's It's a big gudgeon, all right. Or oh, do you, in your world, a gudgeon is big, any? Try and get this in because we've had nothing of a, of a decent size yet. So let's just bring him in a little bit further. I'm assuming this is a car. If it's not, it's a big thing. Not seen him yet. This is normally the mark of a decent fish. Staying deep, this fish. I've not, um, still not seen it. It could be these foul looks, I suppose, but I don't think so. No. It's trying to get me in the reeds. It feels like a tense thing. Not that, not that heavy. Maybe about three pound. Nice fish though. Nice, nice fish. Let's get him back in. Feeding maggots in this one as well. Here we are. I thought so. I thought they were there. Alright, so this will be a carp. I can just tell by the bite and then. Yeah, as I was saying, just trying to different baits, different areas, setting your setting your swim up first before you move on to it. Trying to make sure that there's fish there. I saw that there was a few puffs of silt off the ground and whatever, so I knew there was fish there before I decided to go in. Um, I'm just going to rest. Spat that out. I'm just going to rest the other swim. Um, just for, just for a little while, and then what I might do 
is alternate, alternately go from one to the other. So there we go, nice little car. Let's get him back. As I say, I don't like to have them out the water very long. It's 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 not something I've done or I've ever done or intend to do. Um, occasionally, I might put one on a mat just so I can show you a lot the differences between fish or um, if there's anything unusual about that fish. So, all right, let me just show you the the rig on this one. This is uh, Adrenaline AS2. Um, again, I'm not sponsored by Adrenaline. But if you check the links below, you'll see the floats that I am using. Um, as I say, this is an AS2 5 gram. Again, a wire stem. I like the wire stem on a float, especially unless I want something to fall through the water slowly. So I'm trying to catch up in the water. If I want it to get down, I want to, because I know that the fish are there, they're on the bottom, they're feeding, they're feeding quite strongly. What I like to do is I like to try and try and get the float cocked so it, what, when you say a float cocked instead of the float slowly slowly steadying itself like that what you want is the float to go like that and you know that the bait is on hard on the deck and the feet the fish are picking it up now I have a feeling there's a fair few fish there so um, let me just show you how what again we have the hook we have a square of meat Basically what I do is try and get it through, if you imagine a, a dice and where the number one is, I, that's where I put the point and I, I turn the meat onto the hook so that you just about see, I don't know if you can pick that up, but you just about see the barb of the hook. Because it's meat, it's a fairly soft bait anyway, so as soon as the fish bites on, they're going to they're gonna bite through the bait. So. I don't think the fish realises he's been hooked yet, so I think it's one of those quite good fish. It's just, he don't care. Pretty lazy fish. I think this might be a good fish, Dad. Like pretty lazy sort of you know when they don't care oi oi he's woke up now he's realised he's been up She feels heavy anyway. Your rice is going for something else to eat, isn't it? Do you see where all the fish have just moved from there? All I'm having to swim around there, I might have something to eat. He says, look, look, look. That's what he's doing, isn't he? But it seems like that. Come on, raise your head up, son. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Nice common, isn't it? Yeah. Long and thin, that is. Yeah. I think it's because they've just come off, um, just come off spawning, isn't they? Yeah, just move it back. They've come off spawning, I think, so yeah. they're all sort of a bit... Ugh. Come on, Ray. If I can get his head off. Got him. Yeah. Ho, 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 
Followed you through it, then it's gone. Right, this is what we call a common carp. Lovely, lovely fish. I'll get him in. Yeah, so you can see him. Dad. Look at this. There we are. Nice common carp. Nice and thin. Uh, just come off spawning, I think. Probably when he fattens up a little bit. You're probably looking at probably, I would say, over 10. But at the minute, I think he's probably about. I think he's probably about ten. But if you look, that's a good two foot long. Lovely, lovely fish. If I hold it close, it looks like a massive fish. There he is. <laughs> okay, let's get him back in as quick as we can. Right, frantic fishing at Willow Marsh. Had to swap cameras. Run out of batteries on the uh, on the Sony. We're now on the Lumix. So. Uh, Let's see if this can pick this up. Right, we'll try again. We're doing meat down here. Pellets out there. That last fish was on pellets. So uh, I'm going to give that a rest and try the meat down on this one. Nice tench, Dad. Oh, I knocked him off. No, I ain't. Oh, I knocked him off. Beautiful chunk tench. That's got to be, again, I've probably had about 10 tench, Dad. 10 tench. 10 tench sounds better than 9 tench. That was on meat, that one. Might stick with the meat down here at the minute, because the bait, although the, the fish seem bigger out there, I might, well, I don't know what to do. Another tench, I think. Lovely tench again, Dad. Yeah, another tench. They're all about, they're all about the two pound mark, something like that. Pound and a half, two pound. 
accept, I accepted I had a big mail, which was about, uh, this was about three pound, four pound. I don't know whether they were females or juveniles that were picking up. I'm in again. Another tench, I think. Here's another tench. Like a bar of soap. I'm trying to pick the fish up to show him on camera, Dad. It's like a bar of soap. Another beautiful tench. Get him back. I couldn't pick him up. Sliding through my hands like a slider. Let's get back out there. I'm going to try again where I was fishing before and then I'm going to swap over to the meat and uh, try this other swim. I'm going to pick up a bigger car. Nice roach. some bigger fish in. Swap to the meat and try over here in the edge. Luckily, both swims are the same depth. And it's quite deep there. Uh, let's see. Different fish in this swim. I'm picking up carp and bream.
this feels like a car. Not a particularly big one, I don't think. I don't know though, it seems to have woken up. I always say that though. Because I genuinely don't have. Mm -hmm. Here we are again, fish with fish. It's got a lovely, lovely stuff. Look at him, he's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, sun rays, absolutely brilliant, let's get him back. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies, farewell and adieu to you ladies of Spain, for we've received orders for the sail back to Boston. And so never more shall we see you again.